the pillar two approach to capital adequacy assessment in banks. In the world of banking, ensuring capital adequacy is crucial for the stability and sustainability of financial institutions. The pillar two approach to capital adequacy assessment is a key component of the Basel framework designed to address risks that are not adequately captured under pillar one. Understanding pillar two. Pillar two of the Basel framework focuses on a bank's internal assessment process for capital adequacy. It requires banks to develop their own risk management and capital planning processes tailored to their specific risk profiles. This approach aims to ensure that banks hold adequate capital to cover all of their risks, not just the ones covered under Pillar 1. Key Components of Pillar 2 Risk Governance Effective risk governance is essential for Pillar 2 compliance. Banks are expected to have robust risk management frameworks, clear governance structures, and active board oversight to ensure that risks are properly identified, measured, monitored, and managed. Internal Capital Adequacy Assessment Process ICARP. Banks are required to establish an ICARP that quantifies all material risks to which they are exposed. This process involves identifying risks, assessing their potential impact on capital, and determining the appropriate level of capital needed to cover these risks. Stress Testing Stress testing is a critical component of Pillar 2. Banks must conduct regular stress tests to assess how their capital position would be impacted under various adverse scenarios, such as economic downturns or market shocks. This helps ensure that banks maintain sufficient capital buffers to withstand unexpected losses. Supervisory Review Process SRP. The SRP involves ongoing dialogue between banks and regulators to review the bank's risk profile, capital adequacy, and risk management practices. Regulators assess the bank's ACARP, stress testing results, risk appetite, and overall compliance with supervisory expectations. Benefits of Pillar 2 Increased resilience By requiring banks to have a comprehensive risk management framework and maintain adequate capital levels, Pillar 2 enhances the resilience of the banking system. This helps prevent financial crises and promotes the stability of individual banks. Enhanced Risk Management Pillar 2 encourages banks to have a deep understanding of their risks and develop effective risk mitigation strategies. By identifying and addressing risks proactively, banks can improve their overall risk management practices. Challenges of Pillar 2 Complex Implementation Implementing Pillar 2 requirements can be complex and resource-intensive for banks. Developing comprehensive risk management frameworks, conducting stress tests, and engaging in the SRP process require significant time and expertise. Regulatory Compliance Ensuring compliance with evolving regulatory requirements and addressing supervisory expectations presents an ongoing challenge for banks. Adapting to changes in the regulatory landscape and maintaining alignment with best practices is essential. In conclusion, the Pillar 2 approach to capital adequacy assessment in banks plays a critical role in promoting a sound and stable banking system. By focusing on internal risk management processes, capital planning, and supervisory oversight, Pillar 2 enhances the resilience and risk management capabilities of banks, ultimately benefiting depositors, shareholders, and the broader economy. Want to learn more? Claire Trithel on LinkedIn 